Today we're looking at live view inside of Lightroom. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to use live view within Lightroom while you're shooting tethered. This is something that you guys have asked and uh, so I'm making this video. Now this is something that has been available within Capture One, I think since the beginning of the product. So certainly since I've been using it and so it's really exciting to have this capability now within Lightroom. And for myself, that was one of the main differences between Capture One and Lightroom that pushed me over into Capture One. But Lightroom is slowly uh, introducing new features into Lightroom to make the gap between the two applications much, much smaller. All right, so I'm gonna try and make this quick because I know that you guys wanna get into the guts of it. So I'm gonna build a small setup over here. I'll put some products in there. Uh, we'll tether up to a computer and I'll show you how this works. All right, so here is the setup. I've got my 5D Mark IV here. And as you can see, it's tethered. Uh, to the computer um, that subject the subject is going to be that uh, that sharpie pen over there and i'm just using this led panel here to illuminate it i've got a little bit of diffusion on there um, not that it matters it's not a real shoot uh, incidentally this led panel is actually a diy one uh, i made that a few weeks back and it's been absolutely brilliant um, and it's about one third the cost of what it would take to to buy it it's three feet by one feet so if you want me to make a video on how to make one of those if you if you need one let me know in the comment section below and i'll make a video so now i'm going to walk over to the computer and um i'm i've just started a tethered session as you normally would and you can tell that it's a tethered session because you've got the uh the bar down the bottom here so you can this floating bar over here so from here i can actually shoot off uh a photograph uh in here and you can see that the photo comes through okay so uh but the thing is uh that this is the new feature that I want to talk about. It's this little live button over here. So if you can see that, you're going to click on that, okay? And that's it. That is as, that's how easy it is to use it. You can now see everything that the camera can see. And the purpose really of this, or the way that I use it, is really to set up my product placement, uh, how I'm going to uh, uh, how I'm going to align the products. It's just that it's the setup of the shot, if you like. I'm not worried too much about lighting at this stage um, because uh, primarily uh, I wanna just get the products looking uh, right in the right position uh, first off. So as you can see, I'm gonna move this around and you can actually see that it's live, okay? So um, it's just a matter of me looking at a, or having a large screen, a large monitor that I can look at this uh, whilst I'm moving the product around. Now, I could look at the back of the camera, of course, but there's going to be situations, not in this case, because, um, I, you know, over here, I've just got the camera right next to the product, but sometimes you will get these shoots where you have to get the camera in a really hard to reach place. So you're not going to be able to walk up to the back of the camera to see the LCD. So this is absolutely critical. And uh, it's something we've had in Capture One for uh, since the beginning, I think. Uh, but it's really nice to be able to have that in Lightroom now so um, that if you want to just stay in the Adobe uh, platform of, of products, then uh, this is one of the reasons that maybe you don't need Capture One. So uh, it's really that easy. That's all I'm going to show you uh, really in here, apart from the fact that you've seen this before, uh, that you can change all the different settings from here as well. So you can make the, uh, you know, you can make the... Uh, the image brighter, you can make it uh, darker by changing things like f-stop, uh, you can change uh, the um, um, aperture, the white balance, all that sort of stuff. So um, that's it. Now if you do want to see a video on how to uh, shoot tethered with Lightroom, I'll just link that to uh, up above. So you should be able to just, um, just click on that and it'll take you to that video. But uh, that's it for this video. If you've got any questions, again, leave them in the comment section below. I'll be happy to get back to you. So that's it. I hope that was clear. I did go quite fast though. So if you have any questions, the comment section below is probably the best place to leave those questions or comments. Otherwise, you can reach me uh, in any of the usual social media platforms. You'll find all the links in the description. Now, if you did find this video useful or helpful, uh, please don't forget to give it a like. It helps the channel. It helps myself. And it also tells me that I'm making the kind of videos that you enjoy watching. So please, if you did like it, uh, make sure that you click the like button. And also, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, I make videos like this all the time to help you with your photography. So if you don't want to miss out on any of those, 
click the subscribe button and the notification bell that way you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Guys also don't forget about ministryofphoto.com that's my website where you find links to all of my videos there's tutorials in there there's reviews there's uh, blogs uh, as well as downloads that you can get completely free so make sure you go check it out that's ministryofphoto.com. And guys, I'm consciously trying to make my videos shorter these days, just so we can get into the meat of the videos. So if you find that they're getting a little bit too short, please let me know. Otherwise, I'll keep trying to uh, compress them as much as I can just to give you the information that you're after. So that's it for this video. Again, I hope you found it useful. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.